We're now going to talk about functions of more than one variable, and we'll begin with the case of two variables. So let d be a region in the plane. which we denote by R2. So a function from D to R, the set of real numbers, or a function on D is a rule F which assigns to each point in D a number, so each point x, y, and t is assigned a number f of x, y, that's a real number, so it's an element of the set of real numbers. And we can visualize it like this. So in the x, y plane, we have this region d, so this is the set of points for which the function is defined. And for any point x, y in the domain, it is mapped by f to some number f of x, y on the real line. Now d is called the domain of f. And this is a subset of R2. Another related notion is the range, r. So this is the set of all values of f. And the fancy notation for it is the set of f of x, y, such that x, y is an element of the set d. So if you haven't seen this notation before, if you see curly brackets with the vertical line in the middle, what that notation means this is the set of all things on the left side of the vertical line satisfying the conditions on the right side of the vertical line. So here's the set of all f of x, y, such that x, y is an element of d. Uh, more simply, this is the set of all values of f. So this is a subset of the real line. Now, how do we visualize or draw a picture of a function? So there are two basic ways to do this. So the first basic way is to draw the graph. So what is the graph? So the graph, let's call it S, this is the set of all points x, y, z in three-dimensional space, such that x, y is an element of the domain and z equals f of x, y. So this is a surface in three-dimensional space. So to draw a general picture of how this works, so if I think of the xy plane as the set where z is equal to 0, then we have the domain down here in the xy plane. And for each point in the domain, well, if it's xy in the domain, then it corresponds to x comma y comma 0 in three-dimensional space. And above this is the point x comma y comma z equals f of xy. So this the set of all such points is a surface which is above the domain D. So the domain D is the shadow 
when you project the surface onto the xy plane. And just to compare, this is completely analogous to graphs and single variable calculus. So the single variable version is you have a function y equals f of x and the graph is the set of points x comma y such that um, well, f of x is defined, so x is in the domain of f, whatever that is, and y equals f of x. So that's a curve in two-dimensional space. And its shadow on the x-axis is the domain on which f is defined. So for functions of two variables, it's completely analogous. There's just one extra variable which the function depends on. So since the function now depends on two variables and there are two degrees of freedom, we get a two-dimensional surface instead of a one-dimensional curve.